Hello, Elena. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Oh my God, everybody's kind of late today now. How was your day? All good? Yeah, super good. Super, All right. super. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, did you do the extra exercises? Uh, of the platform? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But right. I fail in two. You fail in two of them? Mm -hmm. Do you feel more comfortable with the topic now? Um, more or less. I, I didn't have time to, to study. Okay. I understand. Well, in, uh, you, you can find, like, if you, if you put in past perfect on that website, you can find, like, tons of exercises so you can, so you can do Okay. I, I'm going to... Gonna... I'm going to look uh, on the weekend. Yes, all right. Beautiful, beautiful. Francisco, how are you? How was your day? Hello. Good evening, guys. Uh, Good evening. It was really busy yesterday and today. I have a lot of work, but everything is pretty good so far. So far, so good. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yes. Glad that you're early uh ronnie caballero nice to see you here foster how was your day foster good evening guys uh what's great it was great thank god it's thank god is what thank god it's it's thursday it's thursday yeah yeah uh yeah it's good man um tomorrow is friday so we you're gonna have some time you know, to relax, right? Yes. All right. That's awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, Gloria, welcome. Uh, Ronnie, how was your day, Ronnie? Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. I'm fine. It was a, a hard, stressful day. You had a stressful day? Yes, it was a... Why? Uh, what happened? And the, everything is... Um, uh, uh, Todo se juntó. <laughs> Everything. Everything got together? And yes, and in the same time. Every problem. <laughs> All okay. problems at the same All time. All that you were having. It's right. very painful. The people that start, the people that call me. Hey, Ronnie, please help me. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I got you, got you, got you. All right, guys, welcome. I'm, I'm just sending a message to people who are not here, guys, because I have no idea where they're not here. All right, Jessica, who the hell is you? <laughs> you. All right. Beautiful, guys. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's move on, guys. Let's let's stick off where let's uh, let's start where we left off yesterday. All right. So guys, did you? Uh, I sent I sent to the people guys who asked for it. I sent um, the exercises. Did you do them? Do you think past perfect day is complicated or easy? Easy. All right. Very good. All right. Let me test. the case. So, all right. Give me an example with past perfect, Elena. Give me a question. All right, and then Ronnie is gonna give me an answer. Hi. A question. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> which one? Which one? Past, past perfect. Yes, past perfect. Perfect. Oh, yeah. um, mm, 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 mm. I don't know. <laughs> it's all right. We we no. kind of touched it yesterday, right? Mm. Can I see my notebook? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. All right. Meanwhile, guys, who can give me a question? I'm gonna study. Perfect? It's okay. I understand that you work. Uh, so who can give an example, guys? Thank you. A question. Elena, pick someone of a question. Yes. Francisco. Not, Francisco. Let's go, Francisco. All right. Give me a question, man. A question. Um, let's see. Um, no, 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 no. Had, uh, had you ever tried, um, have you, have you ever tried, um, 
I don't know, uh, Chinese food. I was, I, I thought that you were going to say, have you ever tried Cheyenne? I was like, <laughs> okay, now guys, have you ever tried Chinese food? Very good job. Now, is it try or tried? What do you think? Tried. What do you think? Tried, okay, have you tried Chinese food? Very good job. Ronnie, let's answer that question. How do you answer that question? The question of uh, Francisco. Mm -hmm. um, Welcome, Jessica. Nice to see you. I, uh -huh. <laughs> I, don't, I never tried the food in Japanese. Right? You've never tasted or tried Chinese food? Chinese food. Okay, all right, but I want you to answer in present, in, um, in past perfect. So, all right, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I have, I have, I have uh, tried uh -huh. Chinese food. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, uh, good enough. All right, guys, so let's, uh, let's actually bring up the platform, guys. So let's go to... I don't know if you did this as homework, guys, but if, if you didn't, mm. uh, we're going to do it right now, okay? All right, guys, did we, did, we, did we finish this one? Did we finish exercise 4.4? 4? Yes. Yes. Mm, okay, yeah, right? So what is the answer here? Okay, you got to So what? Discover. Discover. The okay beautiful so we were taking a look guys that's perfect guys uh, and then we we're gonna take a look at perfect questions okay it's a topic I'd like to review a little bit more guys because I don't feel that you are uh, comfortable with the topic right now I, I see that we still struggle you know with um, with uh, making questions okay all right so first off guys quick review okay all right so let's put it off all together uh, hello Allison nice to see you uh, what do we use past perfect for all right you're muted Allison uh huh. What do you use past perfect for, guys? All right, let's see. Foster, what do you use past perfect for? Uh, it's for to say to say actions that in the past that are in the past, and and there are finished. Okay, but that's that's simple past. What is the mm -hmm. difference then between between simple past and past perfect? Hey, teacher. Go for it. Uh, uh, past perfect it is used to express uh, actions that happened in the past, but it's probably that we continue or that we're going to do again. Mm, okay, all right. You, is that right, guys? So does it continue in the present? No, it doesn't continue no, no. in the present, right? All right. So, Ronnie? Uh, past perfect you use before uh, even, even. An event, before. guys. An right, event. That is an event, <laughs> event uh -huh. before another event in the past. Very good. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So, we use it for uh, to talk about to talk about an event that happened before another event in the past. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you again this question, guys. All right, so you better write it down. All right, good, good, good job. All right, good job. Those are Ronnie, guys. Good job, man. All right, Ronnie, pick someone. <laughs> pick someone amazing. Uh, amazing, amazing, Elena. Elena. All right, <laughs> Elena. What Thank is this? <laughs> All right, Elena. What is the structure? What is the structure for? I'm gonna uh, check my. <laughs> what is the structure for uh -huh. a sentence in a, po a positive sentence? So let's talk Which about one? positive. Positive. 
positive sense. Mm -hmm. uh, subject. Okay, so we got the subject. Uh -huh. Positive um, verb. Are you sure? Plus have. No. <laughs> subject <laughs> plus have uh, or has. Have. Are you sure? Have or has? Have. Plus have. had, okay, right. Teacher, uh, you know, you know, you know what? I uh, I study English uh, like twenty years ago. It's it's okay. Don't worry. So no, uh, no, I I don't remember many things. I don't know why. How can I uh, be in this course? <laughs> because I don't remember a lot of things. No, but because, I'm trying. Yeah, you understand. It's just you should have it in your notebook, guys. Okay, like all the questions that I'm asking you, you should check your notebook. And be able to answer them because you should, you're supposed okay. to have notes, right? All right. So but subject. I'm, I'm opening my heart. All right. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. Yeah. I, I, I think I. Yeah, you know, that's true. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you're bullying me. <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. All right. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So subject plus half plus what else? Plus participle. Verb in past participle. Plus verb in past participle, okay? Okay, verb in past participle. All right, plus what else? Complement. Plus complement, okay, guys? We have, we've had almost three days in this topic, okay? You should be like this, okay? Yeah. All right. Now, Next week. negative, guys. All right, now, hold on. Before that, guys, okay? Uh, give me an example. Arturo Grimaldi, positive. Not using I. I don't want you to use the subject I, right? Use something else. He had finished the dashboard. Okay, beautiful. He had finished the dashboard. Okay. All right. So this is an example, guys. Okay. Let's uh, let's call this example. All right. Beautiful. Right. So he have uh, finished the dashboard, the, the, the dashboard, okay? Good job. Now, a negative uh, negative structure. What is the negative structure, uh, Jessica? Okay, subject. Uh-huh. Plus the verb, uh, plus have. Okay, remember, in this case, it's an, um, that would be an auxiliary, right? Yeah, plus not. Okay. Plus verb, in plus participle, and complement. Mm -hmm. Okay, plus not, or you can say hadn't, right? You can say hadn't if you want to contract it. All right, actually, let's let's just put it this way, okay? I hadn't plus uh, verb in, okay, past participle. Okay. Good. Good job, good job, right? Jessica, pick someone. Pick someone who likes... Cheyenne. <laughs> okay, Francisco Ventura. Teacher, I hear you so, so far away. Wait, I too? can barely hear you. Guys, do you hear me yes, far away I too? Oh, okay. oh, you know what? I Hold on. Oh, hold on. I think... I think it's all right. Continue, continue. All right, give me an example. Um, um, uh, they hadn't. They uh -huh. hadn't participated in the class. Okay, very good job. They hadn't participated. Okay, be careful with that R. Okay, it's participated. All right, okay. repeat, guys. They hadn't participated in the class. They had participated in the class. In the class, okay. Good job, guys. Okay, they hadn't participated in the class, okay. All right, good job, good job. All right, uh, so far so good, guys? So far so good? Good? Yes. All right. Now, in that case, who wants to give me an example for a question, all right? Let's talk about questions. So who'd like to give me an example for a question? Question. Uh huh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Foster. Foster, are you there, sir? Yes. 
Yes, sir. Yes, I'm here. All right, give me, give me, um, give me the structure. All right, do my favor. Give me the structure for a question, okay? With the with past perfect. Yes, with past perfect. Okay. <clears throat> uh, first is had. Okay, we got had. Had plus a subject. Good job. Uh huh. Uh, uh, plus a uh, verb. Plus verb. In, 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 uh, sorry. Uh huh. Be, uh, verb in, in, in past participle. Okay, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what else? Compliment. Plus and compliment. Uh, question mark. Plus question mark. Good job. Good job. All right. Good. Uh, Elena, you ready? Can you? Uh, do you want to give me? Do you want to give me uh, an example for a question? Um. Have you ever gone to Guatemala? Guatemala. Okay. Had you ever, you ever gone, gone to, to Guatemala. Guatemala? Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So now, guys, I will ask you. Okay, if you have any questions, guys, let me know. Okay. Is this clear? Is this clear? Yes, teacher. All right. So we're gonna. Um, so we're gonna. We're gonna have uh, some practice right now. Now, do me a favor, okay? I want to see in the chat something like this, guys, okay? So we can move on, all right? So okay. I want to see I want to see something like this. I want to see um, a question, all right? So first of all, you're going to number it like this, okay? So question, and then you're going to give me um, an answer, a complete answer. No, not a short answer. Not like I have, right? A complete answer. So you're going to have a, you're going to give me a complete answer, all right? And um, this is going to be in positive, I'm sorry, and this is going to be a negative. Okay, so for example, you're going you're gonna to type it in like this, okay? So number one, I don't know, had, had my mom come back from, from work before I arrived? All right, so that would be one question, okay? All right, and under it, Okay, under it, you're gonna answer it yourself. Yes or no, right? No, she hadn't. She hadn't come back from work when I arrived, okay? All right, and uh, same for number three, guys, right? Now, these, I'm sorry, this, this should be, uh, this should be, this is the negative one, right? So we're gonna put it in here. And in this case, that will be yes, she had, she what? She had come from work when I arrived, right? All right, got it? Did we get it, guys? Got All it. right, send me the example, guys. Send me the, chat, the, the example in the chat room right now. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Tell me, tell me. Uh, the example with the question is the, the word um, ever is correct for this uh, tense? Yeah. Had yeah, you, you ever? You can say, yeah, you can say ever. Uh, it's not necessary, but you could say ever. The, but let me ask oh. you something. Do you guys understand? What you what you mean when you say ever? When you say ever, guys, is when you, like you're saying alguna vez, right? Ha, when you say had you ever, habías alguna vez? That ever, guys, is alguna vez, right? So same as as in Spanish, guys. You don't need to use it. I mean, if you want to use it, go ahead. Just uh, keep in mind that it means um, alguna vez, right? So had you ever smoked cigarettes, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, so let's go. I'm waiting for the examples, okay? Let's go, and meanwhile, I am going to send messages to everyone. 
because I don't know why they're not here. Does anybody know anything? No. Chapo, who's Chapo? <laughs> All right, let's see. Had my brother arrived to the soccer game? All right, good job, Francisco. Had my wife ever traveled to Honduras? Good job. All right, remember the three things, right? Like, okay, you see Gloria? Gloria is kind of doing it, right? So I want to see like that, guys. The answer is... The positive answer and the negative answer as well, okay? Just like I did it, just like as Gloria did it, all right? Uh, so Gloria says, have you ever eaten frog? Good job. Now, Gloria, very good. You're having another grammar mistake right now. Articles, right? When you're talking about things that you can count and you're talking about one thing, you have to specify that you're talking about one thing, okay? So in this case, if the answer would be, I mean, the question would be, have you ever eaten a frog? Got it, Gloria? Okay. You're okay. missing the yeah, right? You Thanks. countables, right? You have to you have to be able to count. Them. All right. Uh yes, I had. I had eaten I had eaten them. You're missing you're missing the the pronoun. I had eaten them when I traveled to China. All right. The structure of the past perfect tense is good. No, I hadn't, I hadn't eaten frogs or a frog. Okay. Good job. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Jessica. Jessica, she, uh, she, yes, she had. She had written a book about her life. Good job. No, she hadn't. She hadn't written a book. Good job. Had you ever eaten a frog? Uh, had Ronaldo ever sung in front of public? Okay, in front of the public, okay? You're missing, good job, good structure. You're just missing the, the, the article that. Okay, in front of the public. Ronnie, have, have you ever flown before the trip to Los Angeles, California? Good job. Yes, I have. I have flown before to Guatemala. No, I hadn't flown to any place. Good job. Had my brother arrived to the soccer game? Yes, he had arrived and already, and already started the game. No, he hadn't. He hadn't arrived to the soccer game. And they were waiting for him. Good job. You even combined it. I liked it. Elena, yes, he had he had sung in front of the public. No, he hadn't sung in front of the public. Good job. Good job, guys. All right, you got it. You got it. Good job. Five five to you guys. Good, 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 good job. Okay. All right, guys. Do you have any question about that whatsoever? Question, question, question. All right, in that case, guys, let's go ahead and finish section. Um, let's go ahead and finish the exercise 4.11. If you haven't finished exercise 4.6, go ahead and, uh, well, this is not an, yeah, it has an exercise. If you haven't finished this exercise, go ahead and finish it, guys. If not, let's, let's jump on to the uh, 4.11 exercise. Mm -hmm. All right, any question, guys? Question, question, question? No questions? All right, good job. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Foster. All right, let's practice, guys. Okay, we have to uh, we have to complete the exercise, or we have to practice the. No, you have to complete the exercise. Oh, okay, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. I already did that. 
All right, so help him out, and then uh, we continue, right? Okay, perfect. It's like, how are you now? Yes. <laughs> what's okay. going on? What's, what's nah. like, how are you? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same, and how are you? What's going on? Yeah, okay. it is the same. It is it's the same, yeah. Okay. Ready? Oh, not ready. Yeah. Yes, ready. Okay. okay. Uh, for me, I just learning just a little minute, but I am here. Uh, the topic is a uh, past perfect. I think so. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, I practice a positive and negative in question four about the past perfect. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, positive. I had eating a, a different kind of food when I traveled to Los Angeles, California. Negative. Uh, no, I hadn't. Uh, I not eating food. And question is, had you eating different food when you travel? Nice. Um, for my examples, um, she had finished the homework, um, the negative form. Um, they had studied in the university for um, five years. And the question for, um, had you ever um, drunk beer? Okay. <laughs> All right, I like that one, that answer. Okay, good job, guys. Good, right. okay. All right, good job. All right, you, you do know that you have to finish the exercise, right? You're doing the exercise 4.11 right now. Okay, yeah. yeah. In my scale, I finished teacher. You finished already? Okay. What, what about you? Yes. you just got, did you finish? No. All right. Uh, so, uh, it's 4.11, right? So let's finish yes. it right now. Okay. Okay. Good job. Thank you, teacher. Good job. Thanks to you. What's up, guys? So did you finish the exercise? Um, no, we don't finish yet. <laughs> You haven't finished it? It's about the platform, teacher. Uh, yeah, the exercise on the platform, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, 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 try to, I try to talk with Gloria, but, but the, the connection internet is very bad. The internet uh, connection is bad. Oh, yeah, I got you, got you. It's Keep very going. slowly, teacher. All right, yes. The connection in the internet now. All right, so... Sounds good, uh, but, but yeah, let's finish the exercise. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher, I finished uh, the exercise in the platform. Okay, what about you, Ronnie? Did you finish too? No, I, I didn't. All right, so let's, uh, okay, so, so let's finish it, okay? So Gloria can help you. Any okay. questions, guys? Any questions regarding the topic? Any requests? <laughs> Anything? I, I have some problem with the English grammar. <laughs> okay. Uh, I because when, I, because when I learning English, I, 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 I learn watching movies and play video games. But I have problems when I can write. And, when you're writing. And, 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 and make the structure. And the structure. I, yes, I have some problem with that. Okay. No, I, I understand you. I understand. I'm yeah. creating a... Uh, broadcast list right now so I can text everybody. I don't know like why we have why do we have so few people today I have no idea I don't know maybe it's because it's Thursday or the past party <laughs> or right, the past party <laughs> I guess I don't know I'm yesterday, not sure yesterday uh, some people leave before the finished class left because of left, uh, left. past perfect pro yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just, uh, 
it's a topic it's a topic that not everybody understands so well so that's why i reinforce it but it's okay i don't know i'm, I'm gonna find out so who knows right as long as they're okay but, uh, uh, in, in this case teacher for use the the, the past perfect should, should use. is necessary uh, learn and memorize uh, all irregular verbs yes in, you do have to in all things Yes. Yeah. Yes. To speak English, you have to learn them, not for the topic. Like to speak English, you have to learn the irregular verbs. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you do have to do it. Okay. All right. Good job. Uh, so, Ronnie, let's finish and let's go back. If you, you practice, is you can improve your skill writing or mm -hmm. speaking. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm changing my work. I change well. I uh, I start a new work in March, just before the qu quarantine. How do you say quarantine? Quarantine. 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 Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I'm I have to work with um people of England. Wow. United States. Uh huh. And, but um, it's it's um it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah but i um i'm very nervous when i have to to talk or write i have to think a lot and i have to review my grammar but it's super super nice for me all right i'm very happy i got you got you, got you. hey guys i have no idea why we have so few people today do you have oh, really? do, do you work with do you have um do you have to be nice <laughs> with us you, you're nice you're nice enough enough with them already so it's okay they're for the happy topic. <laughs> no oh, yes, um, for the topic do you think it's because of the topic yes why why it's confusing it's confusing and oh no they yeah. want to complicate their their, his, their lives <laughs> they want to complicate their lives mm -hmm. no but yeah that's why we're reviewing it again because uh, i know people people have issues with this Anyways, I'll get in contact with them. I, I have no idea what happened. Probably also because it's Thursday. People want to sleep. I don't know. All right. Arturo, it's super good. He finished uh, super quickly. Arturo, yeah, Arturo, so Arturo, looks, Arturo looks very smart. He's, he's, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, looks, he, looks, he looks smart, man. No, you okay, are. I, I am. am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. I, good I was job. trying 15 minutes in the, 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 the exercises. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So we're going to go back now. All right. Thank you. Let's go back. Thank you, Gloria. Okay, Ronnie. All right, guys. Good job. Good job, guys. Okay, so let's uh, let's solve this real quick, guys. So, uh, Foster. Yes. If What's what's your um what's your favorite color? Uh, green. My favorite color is green. Uh, your favorite color is green. All right, beautiful. Ronnie, you have green, uh, green armpits. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, do you know what armpits are? Yeah. Now armpits are yeah. your like okay like um the part of your body where you uh where you put on. The other end. Mm. Like when you go, tss, right? Uh. And you, okay, right. You raise your, your your arms. Okay, that's those are armpits. Okay. All right, good job. I was just kidding. All right, let's go. A thief. Okay. A thief broke into our house last night while my sister and I were picking a pizza for dinner. Good job. All right, Ronnie, pick someone else. Go. Um, let me see. Um, Francisco Ventura. Francisco, let's go, Francisco. Okay, the second one says, "I I guess we had left the door unlocked because that's how the thief got into the house." Okay, all right. Number. Uh, what about the next one? Um, Jessica, number two. I have chopped, chopped. Uh huh. Very good job. I have chopped what? 
All right, just just finish reading, 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 um, reading all of it. I have shot. I was shopping. Okay, I was shopping. Okay, I was shopping. Jessica. I mean, just finish reading this. That's all you have. What? Only shot, fast, fast, simple, fast. You think is uh, I shopped. I shopped with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. Okay, all right, it's okay, it's okay, right? Uh, luckily, all right, luckily, what do you think? What do you think, Jorge Mendoza? Luckily? All right, you're muted, Jorge, you're muted. Oh, sorry, had given. Had given. Okay, had given, okay. Now, this one would be, okay, I was shopping, okay? Because it was a, continu a, a continuous action in the past. All right, uh, number three, Elena, number three. I ran out of gas on the freeway. Okay, I... Ran, ran Okay, out. I ran out of gas. No, ran out. I ran out, okay, I ran out of gas on the freeway, okay. Luckily, Francisco, luckily. I'm sorry, I was on mute. Uh, luckily, I have brought my cell phone with me, so I called my brother for help. I have brought, okay, I have brought my cell phone with me, so I called my brother for help. Good job, guys. Awesome, guys. Applaud for you guys. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Come on, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. All right. So good job, guys. And that takes care of section number four. Okay. Any questions, guys? Any questions regarding past perfect? If you do the top I have, a, a, I have oh. a question, but it's not for today. Yeah, go ahead. Ask it. Um, my question is uh, mm -hmm. uh, with the pronunciation of weather. Do you remember uh, when, when you said uh, if you can you can use if or whether or not? Uh -huh. So I don't under I don't I don't know what the how do you pronounce weather of the sunny or rainy or something? Yeah, and the difference with the pronunciation of whether or not. Weather and weather are pronounced exactly the same. Uh, right. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. It's just the context. Yeah, it's just the, the context, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you say whether or not, you know that you're not talking about the climate. Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's 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 uh, depending on the context. Uh, okay. There are like a lot of words like that. It's not only weather. Like you have a lot of other words in English that sound the same, right? Mm -hmm. Like there and there, mm -hmm. right? Like this and this, they sound exactly the same. Right. Uh, these and these, no. This in, in, in no, 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 the, no. I'm talking about the words that I just wrote in here. I don't know if you can see them. The 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 words that I wrote in here, there and there. They these two words here. There and there. Yeah, these two words here, they are pronounced exactly the same. Um, All right. No, there, but you're okay. talking about this and these. That's not pronounced the same, guys. This is very these and different. These. Yeah, the first is this. Everybody, this. 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 All right. And the other one, these. 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 All right. One is a short vowel sound, which is called, uh, which is called a lax vowel sound, and the other one is called a tense vowel sound, which is called um, a long vowel sound. Uh, if you want to learn about pronunciation, guys, look for this: lot lax vowels and mm -hmm. tense vowels. Can I? Uh, and also look for um, consonant, consonant, um, phonetics. Okay. Or just just type in consonant sounds. Okay. All right, because there are here we have twenty four sounds. Okay. 
So that's how you improve your pronunciation. All right. Very good. Thank okay. You. All right. Any other question, guys? About anything that we've seen so far? No question. All right. Let's let's jump into section number five then. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's get some vocabulary first, guys. Arturo Grimaldi, do me a favor, sir, and help me read the objective for this lesson. In this class, you will learn about different cultures around the world. Beautiful, sir. All right, different cultures around the world. All right, so let's take a look at the cross-cultural experiences. Now, everybody, do me a favor, your notebook, uh, write, down, write down vocabulary, guys. All right. And uh, any questions, let me know. I can hear. Yes, you can hear? Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, <laughs> there we go. Can you hear now? Hold on. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything, but when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camila. And I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but uh, I moved to Rio when I was four. And I've lived here ever since. And two years ago, I went to Sweden. And I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different. Because here in Brazil, we kiss on the cheek, and they shake hands. So I went to kiss, like, and they oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like you're invading my space or something like that. It was strange. <laughs> this is Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Fatima. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Oregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. Hey, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? 
Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private. And so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. Hi, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez, and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico, and now I live in the United States. Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman, and she was making me lunch one day, and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture to have a huge meal in the middle of the day, with the beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. Until next time, this is Chris Brooks for Travel World, bidding you bon voyage. We can hear you. All right, can you hear me now? There we go. <laughs> all right, guys. So, all right, so let's talk about the video, guys, all right? I'm going to ask each of you guys, and you're going to tell me something that you learned about the video. Okay, so let's start with the first person that I see, guys. That will be you, my friend, Ronnie. Let's go, Ronnie. So tell me about the video. What did you, what did you learn? What, um, the the yeah. world tour. Tour what? World. Um, I learned um, the, about the, the Peru, the, mm -hmm. the place uh, Plaza de Armas. And okay. people say the, the public transport transpersonal is different. And, and <laughs> okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right, good job. Applause for Ronnie, guys. Good job, Arturo. All right, let's go, Arturo. Well, well I in Brazil, the people um, say hello with two kisses and shaking her their hands. Okay, all right. It's okay. That is true. They mentioned that. Good job. Those were Arturo guys. Good job, Elena. Let's go, Elena. Um, the girl of, of Brazil. Uh, she said that uh, she was traveled to Brazil when she was uh, four years old, and she was from Sweden. Okay, all right, good job. Applause for Elena, guys. Good job, Lena. All right, Jorge, let's go, Jorge. Okay, uh, uh, for me in the Peru, the, the public, the public trans transportation, transportation is very similar to El Salvador because uh, the person says, hey, you got it on, you got it on on my bus, you got it on my bus. Okay. Okay. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Plus for Jorge, guys. Good job, Jorge. Gloria. Let's go, Gloria. Tell me something okay. that you learned. Okay. And I learned in, for example, in Mexico, in Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, the food is a similar. I'm sorry, the what? The food. 
Okay. All right. Uh, it's similar. Uh, for example, the he mentioned about the beans or milk. Mm -hmm. Not teacher food. Okay, I, I know, I know, I know. I'll tell, oh. I'll give you your feedback later. Don't worry. Yeah. Right, continue. Uh, he mentioned about the beans or, for example, the milk. Okay. Okay. Good job, good job, good job. All right, plus for Gloria, guys. Good job, Ronnie. Let's go, Ronnie. Again? <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, I'm sorry. You you went you went you went down the other side here. Okay. All right, let's go, Francisco Ventura. Frank, are you there? Five, four, three, two, one. Jessica, let's go, Jessica. Okay, about Mexico, uh, the food uh, was different in the United States. You said the food was different in the United States? Yes, okay, and then right. said that, or I understood that. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, yeah. He said something like that, uh-huh. Uh-huh. And... In Lima, Peru, uh -huh. uh, the public transportation is uh, similar to El Salvador. Okay. All right, good job. Applause for uh, plus Jessica, guys. Good job. Okay, all right. All right. So uh, let's see, Allison. All right, Allison, let's go. Sorry, what we are doing? I just entered because I had internet problems. So, so, okay, Anderson. Uh, we watched the video. Uh, I don't know if you're able to, if you were able to watch it, but we watched the video, and you have to talk what you learned about the video. Uh, what video? Oh, okay, Which right. You you, you couldn't see it. You, all right, it's it's the video on the platform. If you want to watch it right now, cross cultural ex, cultural okay, okay. experiences. Okay. All right. Foster, all right, Foster, let's go, Foster. Oh, hi, sorry. Uh, I guess uh, um, I heard that Mexico, well, the Mexican guy, he, um, he eats meals, uh, well, full meals, but her, uh, his uh, American wife eats uh, uh, small meals. So when when she uh, cook for him, uh, she makes uh, small meals. Okay. Something like All right. that. Good job, good job, good job. Very good. Okay. All right. Awesome, guys. Suppose for you guys. Okay. Uh, I missed some of you guys, but uh, you can. I think uh, I don't know if if Jose Armando, you were able to watch the whole video. I know that you some of you are working, guys. All right. Guys, if you're working, do yeah, me a yeah. favor, join from your cell phone, okay? Because attendance is very important, guys, right? All right, anyways. Um, okay, so let's go over the – we have five minutes, guys, so I'm going to go over um, – I'm going to go over the uh, your feedback, okay? All right, so there is something very common here, guys. Uh, so this is, this is only, guys, so you can improve yourself, okay? Like um, – Ronnie, okay, um, we got pronunciation, guys, and this is not only Ronnie, the main area of opportunities for everyone, guys, okay? If you want to write it down, guys, okay? Opportunities, okay, so things that you have to improve, okay? There's uh, the areas of opportunity, okay? Let's call it like this. All right, so the areas of opportunity, guys, that you got, okay? The pronunciation of the word public. Repeat, guys, public. Public. Everybody, public. 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 All right. Now, remember, it's that is that the 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 rapper public. sound. Do you remember the rapper sound? Public. Yeah. Uh, 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 public. public. Okay. Public. All right. So public. pronunciation, guys, is public. Okay. Public. All right. Public. Not public. Okay. Very uh -huh. very common error. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> public. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then we have um. We have uh, that people. Okay, this wasn't a big mistake, guys, but 
Uh, you have to study, this is a grammar topic and this is a big one, articles. Guys, this one right here is really, really important. Study articles. Articles are words such as the, a, or an, okay? Got it? So these are articles. All right, uh, then we have uh, she was traveled. Okay, now this was a very specific mistake, not from everyone, okay, but she was traveled. When you use the verb to be, guys, you have to use mm -hmm. uh, the ing form, okay? Mm -hmm. This is like saying, ella estaba viajó, right? Mm -hmm. ella estaba viajar, right? So it has to be uh, traveling, right? Traveling. Um, all right, but I'm not going to add it there because it was not a common mistake. Uh, Jorge, for example, in the in the in the perf the, the persons say now. Oh, you say in the Peru. I'm sorry. You said in the Peru like that, right? All right. First of all, when you're talking about all right, that, that's another grammar mistake, okay? All right, guys, when you're talking about a country, a country is a proper name, guys, okay? Okay, with proper names, guys, okay, you do not add that, except if the country, okay, all, you can only add that, guys, if the country ends in plural, which country do you think that ends in plural? United, United States. States. Okay, United so in that States. case, you would say the United the States, right? United States. Kingdom. Okay, the United, well, the United Kingdom, Kingdom. yeah. But uh, you can say the Netherlands, right? The Netherlands, for example. Now, if it is in plural, okay? Um, so, but if you say in, in the Peru, no, not even in Spanish, guys, okay? You say in Peru, okay? Repeat, guys. In Peru. In Peru. In Peru. In Peru. In Peru. All right. There was another grammar mistake here, which is the person says. Uh, you said the person says. All right. Uh, the persons, first of all, guys, people. Persons is like ultra formal. Okay. So you say people. All right. You don't add articles. When you talk about people, guys, in most cases, only if you're not being specific, you don't have to add articles. Okay. You say people say or people said, right? It's in the past. So, a huge ground mistake there, but I'm not going to add it because it was not very common. Now, uh, Gloria, I know that you were meaning food, but you have to extend that. Ooh, everybody, food. Repeat food. 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 You don't say, food. you say food. food. You don't say food. You don't say, uh, you have to pronounce that final food. sound too. Food. All right. Food. Ask me like a long ooh, right? Beautiful. Um, but it wasn't a, a great, um, um, a big grammar mistake. Then you say he mentioned about, he mentioned that, okay? So you have to say mentioned, repeat, mentioned. 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 That, okay? mentioned that. Don't mentioned say about, that. the preposition is not, it's not about, right? But good job. Just get the food was different in the United States. Now, this is good, but you have to study. This is not a common mistake from, from all of you guys, but this is comparatives, okay? Comparative then, okay? So this is uh, the food, right? The food was different than in the United States. Got it, Jessica? So that was the only the only mistake there. And pronunciation, right? Public. Uh, foster his American wife his small meals. Uh, I think that you were talking, you you were uh, not focusing enough because you were very good. Uh, he's American. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't what I said. Wife, I know that that's why you're not what you didn't try to say, but that's what you said actually, because no, you were, you I were said getting, the, you, you cooks. Were, I said uh, no. You said his American wife is small meals. I think that you wanted to say his American wife cooks small meals, right? But you forgot that's to say to say that part. All no. Right? So, um, in any case, good job because you didn't make too many mistakes either way, okay? Uh, but yeah, guys, all right? So, um, pronunciation, guys, and grammar. Uh, so, let's, let's study articles, okay? Bless you. Uh, good job. Good job for you guys. Guys, do me a favor. If you're working, guys, okay, on Monday, guys, Monday, Monday would be the last week that we're together here. So, do me a favor. If you're working, guys, uh, it's okay. Just connect from your cell phone and tell me that you're not going to be able to participate because you're working, all right? But other than that, good job, guys. All right? I have another class right Thank now, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Thank you. All right? Thank I'll you. see you. I'll see you on Monday. Yeah. Take care. Yeah.